Hey guys, I'm back again and today I have a baking video for you guys. Today I'm going to be baking brownies. My sister's also going to help me who's behind the camera because I'm pretty useless when it comes to cooking and just to make sure I don't burn the house down. Yep, I know this has nothing to do with travel but you know, times are tough, can't get a haircut and, and so I'm really scraping the barrel here for content. Um, this isn't really like a pop-up recipe or an instructional guide on how to make brownies. It's more just an attempt to see if I can actually bake brownies. But we have all the ingredients in case you want to know. Chocolates, cocoa powder, butter, flour, eggs, as well as a wide array of equipment over there. So let's see how I get on. So the first step is to break all these chocolate bars into small, small pieces as so. And then Am I right in saying we're going to add some butter into it? Yes? Yeah. So we already have a pan of water boiling here. So just going to add the chocolate and butter to the top. And then apparently we just stir it. Yeah. Hold on to it. Sorry. How are you supposed to stir this? I think it's supposed to melt first. Ah, that would make a lot of sense. So a couple of minutes have progressed and you can see that the chocolate and butter are finally starting to melt and like come together. Just gotta carry on doing this until it becomes a full on liquid. So the chocolate's finally melted, so we're gonna let it cool down for a bit. I'm just gonna place it there. Now we're gonna break three eggs into a bowl. I'm not usually good at breaking eggs, so let's see how this goes. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? How? Yeah. Okay, that's it. You're not doing the rest. Um, my sister sacked me from breaking eggs, so she's gonna do the last one. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you break an egg. Two seconds. I hope you guys understand why I said baking brownies would be so hard for me. Like, I can't even break eggs properly. How am I even gonna do all the other stuff? Hopefully the rest of this process isn't as difficult for me, but we'll see. So we've got our sugar measured out and we've got our eggs broken. Time to put both together and mix it all up. Luckily we have an electronic whisker, so this should be an easy process. Maybe not. No, no, you have to, you have to turn the thing. Oh. Why is it flying everywhere? It's supposed to put it on a lower speed. It was on low. It's on one. But then. A few moments later. I'm reliably informed that the next step is to add the melted chocolate with the beaten egg and sugar. So the chocolate has been mixed in with the egg and sugar now. Now we're going to sieve in the flour and cocoa powder. So my sister had kindly cut the chocolate up earlier, so now we're just going to add that to the mix as well. So we've mixed everything together now, 
put it on the baking tray, gonna chuck it in the oven for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Hopefully when it comes out, it will look like a brownie and taste like one too. Anyway, so it's about an hour and a half later. As you can see, the brownies have been baked. It's cooled down a bit. Now it's time to cut it up and see how it tastes. So it's all cut up now, ready to eat. It doesn't look that great. Um, it's cracked in a few places. I found out apparently we should have let it cool down a lot more after we had finished baking it. But anyway, time to test it. Hopefully it tastes a lot better than it looks. Take a small bite here. Hmm. You know what? That is actually quite amazing. Now I'm not saying that just because I made it, but it's actually quite good. I'd give it maybe maybe 9 out of 10. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you follow my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.